Tao overflows. Understanding the secret of all mastery. Only love sees a face. Otherwise you never see faces. You move, you look, but that look is just casual, not deep. It touches, but it never penetrates. But when you love, then your whole energy becomes your eyes. Then the energy moves, touches. The touch goes deep, deep down into the other person, meets at his center of being. Then only you can see and know. This is the secret of understanding that it is not your hands touching but the energy that is flowing through the hand through the eyes through the words that is touching and going deeper into the person and the meeting the union happens at the center of the being that is why in the old biblical language they have used the word no for sex and for love, for deep love. It is not coincidental. In the Bible it is reported that Adam knew his wife Eve and then Cain was born. This use, use of no for deep love, for sex, is strange but very meaningful because when you know someone it means you have loved someone there is no other way to know someone and it is not only with persons it is so with energies as well if you want to know your inner being and the multidimensional phenomena of energies, love. Love is the only way to know your inner being and multidimensional phenomena of energies. Do not hate the animal, love it. And you are not unrelated to it, you are part of it. The animal has pushed you to this point where you have become a man, a woman, be grateful to you. Be grateful to it. There is, the seed is animal. And it is that seed that has pushed you to that extent, to that level that you have reached this. It is sheer ungratefulness when people go on condemning the animal in you, it is sheer ingratitude. The animal has pushed you to this point where you have become a man, a woman. And then animal can push you to the point where you can become even God. The animal instincts that are there in you in everyone that has pushed you to that extent. It is the animal that is pushing you. Understand it, its ways, how it works. And that understanding will become transformation. There is the, the animal is the seed. It is there in you, the desire all these things. So no control, no effort to become the boss, no. Why are you so afraid of your animal? Because your mind is really important, that is why you are so afraid. Why do you want to control it? If you are really the master, the animal will follow you. Your instincts, the seed will follow you. But you know well that animal is the master. 
you are under the influence when the desires arise and you are under its control. That is why there is this whole effort to become the master. You know very well that anything real that happens, happens through the animal and anything false always happens through the mind. This awareness creates fear. That is why you want to try to become the master, but a master is never born out of effort. Only slaves try to become masters. A master is simply a master. I'll tell you a Zen story. It happened in the house of a great warrior. One night he suddenly became aware of a mouse. He was a great warrior, a great swordsman. He became very much angry because the mouse was sitting just in front of him and looking into his eyes. No one had ever dared so much as the mouse was daring. So, the, so he pulled out his sword, but the mouse would not run. Then he attacked the mouse, but suddenly the mouse jumped and the sword was broken into pieces and fell on the floor. Of course, the warrior became just mad. He tried and tried, and the more he tried, the more he was defeated. It is difficult to fight with a mouse. And once you have started fighting, you have accepted defeat. The mouse became bold. With every failure of the warrior, the mouse became more and more bold. He simply jumped on the warrior's bed. The warrior went out and asked his friend what to do. This has never happened in my life, he said. No one can ever dare so much as an ordinary mouse, but it seems miraculous. I am totally defeated. So the friend said, it is nonsense to fight with a mouse. It is better to bring in a cat. But the rumor went out that the warrior has been defeated and even the cats heard it. So no cat was ready to come. All the cats gathered. They elected a leader and said, you go because it is not an ordinary mouse. The warrior has been defeated and we are ordinary cats. And this is a great and he is a great warrior. If he is defeated, then where are we? So he will wait. So we will wait outside and let you go in. The leader became afraid. Leaders are always afraid. They are leaders because cowards are there. And those cowards choose them. They were leaders of the cowards. If there was no cowards, then there would be no need for any leader. Basically, they are chosen by the cowards. So they are the leaders of the cowards. The cat had to go, as every leader has to go. As the followers were pushing him, now that the leader was chosen, nothing could be done. The cat had to go. She entered, afraid, trembling and nervous. The mouse was sitting on the bed. The cat had never seen such a mouse. The mouse was just sitting on the bed. She started thinking what to do, what method to apply. And while she was thinking what to do, what methods to apply, what technique about the old experience and memories, what to do with this situation. While she was thinking, the mouse suddenly attacked and the cat ran away. Because this had never happened in the past, there was no mention of it in history that a mouse attacking a cat. 
she came out and fell dead so the warriors are the so the warrior was advised by the neighborhood that now ordinary cats will not do you have to go to the palace and bring king's cat only a royal cat can do something this is not an ordinary case so the warrior had to go to the king and ask for the cat the cat from the palace came the warrior was very much afraid when the cat was coming with him because the cat looked just very ordinary he was afraid that this was again going to be a failure because the cat who had died was much bigger and a great leader and this is an ordinary cat it seemed that the king was just joking and this cat won't do anything but the warrior could not say anything to the king he came with the cat the ordinary one the cat entered killed the mouse and came out all the cats were waiting outside they gathered around and they said what is the trick our leader has died the warrior has been defeated by the mouse and you simply killed him you came out with the dead mouse the cat said i am a cat and he is a mouse there is no other technique i am a cat he is a mouse and there is no other technique i am a cat that is enough what is the use of any technique being a cat is enough when i entered it was enough that a cat should enter and i am a cat really this is a zen story if your mind were the master there would be no need for efforts every effort is just to deceive yourself you are not the cat you are fighting with the mouse become the master now but how to become a master tantra says understanding will make you a master the cat came with that understanding that i am a cat and he is a mouse that's all is needed tantra says understanding will make you a master nothing else understanding is the secret of all mastery if you know it well you are the master if you do not know you will go on fighting a losing battle then you will remain the slave and the more you fight the more you will be defeated you are fighting with a mouse a losing battle this is very interesting zen story enough for now